Jesus, peace be upon him, is a figure loved and revered by billions of Christians and Muslims worldwide. Therefore there are many confusions and misconceptions surrounding this great personality. However, God will not leave his people astray and in a state of confusion. This grave misconception was addressed in his final revelation known as the Holy Quran. One of its names is Al-Furqan, meaning the criterion between truth and falsehood. Therefore, this will be the yardstick used to examine the biblical narratives of Jesus. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a pious and noble woman. A virgin, according to the Bible, gave birth to Jesus without any male intervention. Typically, a woman giving birth to a child without a father, would be accused of adultery. They would have stoned her to death for the crime at that time. A question arises, how did Mary prove this miraculous event to her people? According to the Bible, the miraculous birth of Jesus was covered up and made unknown to others. When Mary got the news of her virgin pregnancy, Joseph who was inspired by the Holy Spirit, willingly concealed the truth by hastily marrying her. So this matter was never known to her people. They were made to believe that Jesus was the son of Joseph. If they disbelieved, they would think that Mary was an adulterous woman. Jesus himself never mentioned anything about his virgin birth. There is a missing link to this narrative in the Bible. However, in the context of the Quran, there is no husband paired with Mary. But God, Allah, gave Jesus, the ability to speak as an infant to defend the honor of his mother. Islam truly protects the honor and retained the chastity of Mary. Compared to the Bible, the Quranic narrative of the virgin birth, was a well-known miracle amongst her people. Christians believe that Jesus is divine because he was called the, Son of God, in the Bible. But Adam was called the Son of God, in Luke chapter 3 verse 38. David was called, the begotten Son of God, in Psalm chapter 2 verse 7. And many others were also mentioned as, Son of God. If so, then why were they not worshipped like Jesus? The biblical term, Son of God, was never literal but rather, metaphoric, referring to a prophet or a righteous person. It is unfitting for the majesty of God to beget a child, as stated in the Quran, He, God, begetteth not nor is he begotten. In fact, Jesus himself, never claimed to be God or asked to be worshipped in the Bible, but rather, he worships God the Father. In John chapter 17 verse 3, Jesus said, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. From the verse, we clearly see that there is only one true God that is the Father, and Jesus was a messenger, sent by God. Jesus also said, I am ascending, to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. John chapter 20 verse 17. Interestingly this testimony aligns with the Quran, as Jesus said, Indeed, Allah, God, is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him, this is the straight path. All these verses confirm that Jesus have a God, worshipped God and never claims to be God. It is considered blasphemy for a mere human to proclaim to be God. Acknowledging this does not mean changing or losing one's identity as a Christian, but rather, reverting to the true teaching of Jesus. Christians believe, that the death of Jesus was necessary as a human sacrifice, to forgive mankind of their sins. This belief contradicts, Hosea chapter 6 verse 6, which Jesus then quoted again, in Matthew chapter 9 verse 13. From these verses, Jesus stated that sacrifices were not required for forgiveness of sins, but only through God's mercy. In Islam, God's mercy and his ability to forgive, are unlimited. Thus, he can forgive whom he wills without requiring any payment of death, just turn to him in repentance. So, what about the crucifixion? According to Quran chapter 4, verse 157 to 159, Jesus was never killed nor crucified, but rather was saved by God. As Muslims, we believe in his second coming, and he will be a witness against the disbelievers. There are many more misunderstandings about Jesus that the Quran had rectified. You will be shocked to find, that your belief in Jesus, will be solidified through this narrative. So, we invite you to read the Quran and, judge it for yourself, if you are truthful. <laughs> ذلك عيسى بن مريم. 
قول الحق الذي فيه يمترون